sir. We're back. We're back with another freaking video. Yeah, yeah. This time up, boy, we got a special <laughs> treat. If I was black, Tom McDonald. Yeah, yeah. So y'all know what I talked about when he sent his message off. And then shortly after, somebody shot that message and said, hey, you know, they released all his music. He's good to go. And then this morning, man, I just saw a bunch of YouTubers reacting to it. So I know this joint is going to be something special. So I can't wait to hear this. Let's go. Let's you do ready? it. You want to hear it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. If I was black, probably wouldn't put anyone who's white. Because that slavery would honestly always be on my mind if I was black. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. I missed that first word. It was something with white. Wait. I heard everything else, though. So you got to go back. Whoa. Like said, if, I if I was black, probably wouldn't put anyone who's white. Cause that slavery would honestly always be on my mind. If I was black, probably wouldn't ever want to drive. Cause if police pull me over, I might go around and die. If I was black, I won't lie. I'd be scared to walk at night. Ooh. He's coming in like, ding, 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 ding. Wow. The whole neighborhood is tripping like I'm out committing crimes. I'd be pissed at all these cracker rappers singing about my life. So my music, so my style, give it back at his mind. If I was black. Well, I don't agree with it. I know this is he's probably you know, he does his sarcasm with his truth, but now I don't tell that about white people. No, like but it. there are some artists that have said. So he is correct with that. You talking about like that. some you talking about culture vulture. Yeah, yeah. I heard artists say that. I've heard culture votes too, but how you know the difference between somebody that's a coach vulture and that's really embraces the style? Well, like when you listen to somebody who's been listening to Outkast, and they can't be culture votes. You've been listening from the get go. Right. Now, if you're just doing it now because it's trendy. No, I heard someone specifically say that, you know, how it's changed and how where it started and how hip hop originated mm -hmm. and how it was. You know, uh, an all pretty much black type of thing. But then I remember too where the Beastie Boys were around. You know, oh yeah, so Vanilla Beast Ice, Insane Clown Posse, mm -hmm. so, Cypress Hill. Yeah, but Cypress Hill, they were like white and Hispanic, right? Mm, yeah, they weren't all. I don't think they it was were a all. Mixture. Yeah, but so, but what he's saying is would be correct. Yeah. What? Let me go back and make sure I didn't miss something. He said right before that. I was black, just look at the facts. We don't stand a chance. One in three is locked away. Over half don't know they dead. Ooh. It's white privilege and a money thing, but it's white people who are running things. Y'all benefit from your coloring. My pigment produce suffering is all white. Ooh. Mm. Suffering. Why well, I, I will say for um what he's saying is absolutely true. Because the dynamic of the skin color and the how blacks were brought down to the level of cattle hundreds of years ago the skin color of black was always looked at like a bad thing it was looked at like a bad thing and honestly i think over time i think you know what will start changing that music well, i think music changed a lot of how people's perception or because they start vibing with music too and then they said well let me look into this a little bit more and then they and people start kind of understanding the culture a little bit more. You feel I can, what I'm saying? Yeah, I can see how music is played. Well, yeah, a big part over history. Just think about Marvin Gaye and, oh my gosh, Sam Cooke. You know, music crosses over. It has no, it has no favorites. It touches people's souls and their spirits. So music is colorless. White lights, white houses, white guys, white washing. My brothers, my sisters, my culture while I'm watching. Mm. If I was black, I'd probably hate myself. He is killing. <laughs> oh boy, Tom got he got so much of my respect. Y'all make no sense, man. Yeah, he you does. And he ain't even. And if you listen to the Bible song, he's he's just speaking all facts. This ain't he ain't even, this ain't even no sarcasm. Mm -hmm. This this is hard as hell. Oh boy, shout out Tom. Hey, hit me. Call me directly. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, ooh. Kind of low. Turn up a little bit more. Yeah. Oh my God. I definitely gotta. Wow. Play whoa, this whoa, in whoa, whoa. Let me make sure. My... That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Ooh, he talking about he talking about Martin. Yeah. Hey, boy, he's speaking his truth. And he's really talking about the stereotypes in Western culture. He's really he's really combing through the surface of you know I love truth. It. That's what I'm liking. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm liking. Yeah. That's he's why speaking I, the real. That's why I told like the real. Right. That's why I told you I've been feeling like like Tom, like Adam Calhoun, all that because it's the it's the truth that they speak that. The media does not like, like I said before. So they will probably they'll try to sway all these videos because that's not the direction they want the climate to go in. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I was black, if I was black, probably wouldn't ever do my taxes. Why well, support a government that persecute my blackness? Ooh. Would never do my taxes, but persecute why uh support a government who will persecute my blackness. Wow. But pay the wage of law enforcement putting us in caskets or help to build the prisons that we trapped in. If I was black, I'd be mad. People glorify the trap while we dying every day fighting for everything we have. It right. <laughs> yes, honey, and, I and, know you're and, and so in it's like, all right, the trap gets glorified, right? And the reason why it gets glorified. It's because these labels, they want that glorified because they want it to look what's what we look at on Jigaboo and Coonish to go back and put back to our people that this how this is what you should obtain when no, 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 that's the labels pushing that back and saying that's what we want out. That's another label shift. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what back in the day in the nineties they were trying to avoid. That's what the mute some of the music now, they didn't, that's what they were fighting. That's what Tupac was fighting. He said that once he died, how music would shift to what it is now. If you go look back at it, it was an old interview he did in the 90s. He said how people would rainbow their hair and, you know, have, I don't want to say certain words because I don't, you know, want to get flagged, but it just talks about it. Mm -hmm. How it's watering down. How it's become what it was for, for cool. There's always just know that there's always been in music, you know, there's been a, a certain type of music where it wasn't it was just music it wasn't really a message you know even though hip-hop started from would you say that that's what's going on today yeah but even back you know then you know some every rapper wasn't conscious when they came out as a rapper in the 90s or 80s you know what I'm mm. saying? it wasn't always that so i think that's but a I lot of it people, was you know a lot of it was but it was still some rap that was more like just music is how a better way to say it versus saying that it was like garbage or trash. I'm not saying that. I'm just going to say no. that. Yeah. It was more of an entertaining type mm -hmm. of vibe. That, than that must have been. We might talk about because remember early 90s. No, no. That's when you would get gangster rap. But then also you have a mixture of your, your, your public enemies. And so, your yeah, dance yeah, party. Yeah. Dance, you know, dance party rap. Like I said, Luke. Get the girl. Get the girl. Yeah. Yeah. And I can yeah. think up a few other artists. So I, I get it. But. I'm talking about, but you. But let's they, not digress. But they weren't. They, it wasn't like it is now. It's different. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. And well, that's been, and that's one of the bigger that's one of the bigger topics that I have been coming out gentrification how what is it? gentrification gentrification right how what happened was back in the day they 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 made sure that the neighborhoods black neighborhoods were brought down to the lowest level and those houses were only worth five ten dollars now them same houses worth that were worth five ten thousand you can them houses going for half a million and people that were originally in those neighborhoods can't afford or the the descendants can't afford to stay in the neighborhoods no more. Right. Yeah. Our lives matter so stupid. Y'all hijacking our movement. Black lives matter because we lose it. Innocent youth, the police shootings. Oh. I was black, the only 
Black Lives Matter, we losing. Enemies, the police shooting. Mm. If I was black, the only role models I'm shown is the rich black rappers pushing guns and drugs and hoes. Yep. What I just say? Yes. What I just say? <laughs> what? Yeah. Because that's what the label wants. Exactly. Hey, y'all won't say it to my face. In the circles, you feel safe. Y'all been using words they made for us when we were slaves. Mm. Hey, hey, wait, whoa! I know that was long ago. If I was black, I want my rap. Your money paid. If I was black, I take the police. I take the whole plan. I put the mm. on these sheets. If I was black, I put gold on my teeth. So if you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak. If you think I'm broke, you will know when I speak. So. Look, I ain't really had to go in my mouth. I'm, I'm, I'm balling. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you get it. And shout out to Tom doing giving the whole Black Panther references. Yeah. Like the whole Black Panther movement and energy. That's that's really cool. That's really cool because that's all that's that's pretty much what we all we had back in what the seventies mm -hmm. was the Panther movement because blacks didn't have too much power. And that's how the free lunch and or the free breakfast and free breakfast program started in Absol public education. Absolutely. You know yep. I did. The Panthers brought that. Also yeah. they um it was, it was several things, but I want to go into. If y'all look it up, man, it'll, it'll talk about it more. If you are curious to inquire about that, you know. Also, it's good to learn other cultures' history too. If I was black, your leather tried to take me down. One fist in the air, I would stay in my ground. If I was black, I'd take the police, I'd take the whole thing, I'd put holes in their sheets. Yeah, it's hard. Tom for president. <laughs> I'm just saying. Crazy. Tom for president. <laughs> oh, you are funny. <laughs> And and he every time I hear that that verse when he repeat that because a lot of people a lot of blacks did die in the streets for for us, for to, be, us yeah, to be have a dream right to where we are to this exactly. day exactly and what people don't understand African American is there's not there's there's only skin but the African American race is a lot of it's so much power in that you know so it's just you know. Idiots try to divide the race of colors. Okay. That's yeah, idiots. They don't, they don't know any better, but we don't have to get anyway. All that. I don't know. It just get me excited, man. Mm -hmm. Well, no. this video was like so hard. Hey, Tom. Yeah, this was this was to me. This is one of the best videos that I can think. I say that we um, looked at and reviewed. I'm sorry. Yeah, reacted to rather. Man, yeah. I can't breathe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this again and again. Yeah. Bruh, hey Tom, bruh, good job. Yeah, this is hard. Okay, y'all. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so every time we do something, you get it. Oh, also by the way, drink you some Lucky Jack. That's what we do to stay hyper in this piece. Lucky Jack. Brew coffee, super strong, boy. It is, and not necessarily hyper, no jitters, but you really feel energized, and it tastes good. Great. Peace out, man. You say you want a husband chocolate cake, you want to be married. The big old mansion on the lake, a Lambo with my carriage. You say you want to be the only one, no baby mama drama, no cutie, but it's side piece of a shit.